Here we are in RoboCraft. This is my design for a tier 9 and tier 10 ground sniper. I call it the 10 second rule. Referencing, you know, when you drop a piece of food, how long you have before it, you know, becomes garbage. This is all about getting planes out of the sky and down onto the ground where the other teammates can gobble them up. So we've got four tier 10 laser cannons, rail cannons on it. Um, that fits into tier 9 nicely with all these electro plates, and the tier 9 radar receiver, tier 10 thruster, and a mixture of tier 10 and tier 9 movement items. And the only thing that makes this tier 10 is all the black cubes. Uh, and so it's, it, was, it wasn't particularly viable in tier 9, and it's even less so in tier 10. But it's what I've got, so I'm just sticking with it. And it's successful enough that <clears throat> it's been able to buy all these black cubes for itself. I didn't know any of them, more than 50 of them when I first started building it. And I used a lot less cubes. Uh, my CPU, when I first started this build, was only a thousand, maybe a little less. And I used every one of it as, as I moved on. So none of these electro plates in the front were originally here. I'll show you how those work real quick. The only thing you can fit underneath this gun would be a tier 4 electroplate. And you can say that they're worthless, and they kinda are. But I've actually seen them survive SMG fire and actually re replenish and not just get destroyed. So there you go, even in tier 10, look at that. And then these tier 9 electroplates sorta kinda protect the combination of the thruster and pilot seat. I don't know, they look cool. So that counts for something. And then of course we've got that, you know, Batman Tumblr style um, axles out building. And the idea with that is if somebody's trying to burrow a hole into the middle of your craft with uh, machine gun fire, it won't get either of your wheels. Or maybe just one of, if it gets one, it's not necessarily going to get the other. When I do use even these big wide wheels, I never put them connected to the same block. I make sure that there's space uh, between them. And this also allows you to get the, the wheels really close together. Closer than you would normally be able to get tier 9, tier 10 movement items together. Which helps with the kind of funny handling. Go ahead and give it a spin real fast. It's got that wedge design so the, the thrusters that are on it are also facing upward making the craft got, has, has a little down force. And then with the wheels the way they are, it really pitches a bunch. But it's okay because you can't flip it. It's wide enough that it won't, it won't ever turn over. Unless you really uh, you know, involve an elevation change. So it's fine. It used to be a lot faster uh, when I had a lot less cubes in it. There's 430 something. And uh, the same design. With the guns connected with less redundancy, you, know, you can get it. In, in the 200s. That's how it works. The guns don't normally interfere with each other. I never even stop to think about it. But every once in a while, the one in the back will hit the front, especially if you're pointing downhill. Just like any, any scenario. Alright, so that's my tier 10 ground sniper. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll see ya.